Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review vintage Chinese made fountain pens from uh, my school years. I remember this small beautiful pen from my childhood and I'm quite surprised to see that on YouTube we don't have a review of this interesting, interesting Chinese made fountain pen. I only know guys that it was made around 1970s or around 1980s and I recently acquired it. It came in this vintage box. This I think, I presume it is a lipstick box. That's why I say that this fountain pen is quite, quite minuscule. It's quite, quite small, like a lipstick. So you can see the nice package of the lipstick. It has also a mirror for the ladies to look uh, when they put their makeup. And guys, this is the wonderful, wonderful fountain pen that... It is quite, quite small. I will show it with other fountain pens. This is a plastic one. Unfortunately, my model, uh, it lacks a little bow tie here, which was made out of gold plastic. I will leave you pictures with them because I, uh, with it, because I found it on the internet and this particular fountain pen is called diamond 61 panda like i told you guys this isn't its original pack in fact i believe that this is from a lipstick it says here made in italy i hope you can see so this wasn't its original pack I suspect that this is a lipstick pack. Instead, it was delivered from China in a simple, simple plastic transparent box. And I will leave pictures with that uh, original box on the screen. It is quite, quite a nice, nice fountain pen, all made out of plastic. And guys, for you to have an idea about how cute this fountain pen is, let me put it side by side next to a real giant. And I have here the Jinhao 159, which is uh, huge. In fact, it has the same dimensions as the Mont Blanc 149. Let's put this giant here. And I have also... Uh, Mont Blanc 146 here, just as a size reference. And I have also two Romanian fountain pens, quite small fountain pens from the 1970s that appear to be quite, quite large next to this small, small Chinese fountain pen. Let me show it to you. So I will show you it like this, but there is a trick guys for a proper use. Let me zoom on it. So in like a lipstick, you unscrew it like this. It reveals the simple steel nib and after that you can unscrew this part to it and it makes it quite quite a usable fountain pen and i will put it aside the other fountain pens so it transforms itself in a writing instrument that has a decent decent length for you to use it quite quite nice in, in fact i will show it to you so i can use it quite quite fine 
what is uh, more interesting about this fountain pen being so small you cannot adapt modern cartridges ink cartridges to this fountain pen instead it has a pretty pretty nice feeling mechanism and I will show you first the mechanism and they, then I will compare it with other mechanisms that are in my collection. So in order for you to fill this fountain pen, you must unscrew it and it unscrews like this. And it reveals the filling mechanism. This type of a filling mechanism, it's so called the squeeze fill type. So we have here, a rubber sack, a transparent sack, and we also can see inside of it a transparent plastic tube. So when we push like this, I'm sorry, it had a little bit of ink in it. So when we push like this, it creates a vacuum and the ink goes in that small, small sack. Of course, with this small, small sack, you can write relatively short sessions. So it will constantly need to, to, to refill. And speaking about this system, so this system is quite similar with um, the Romanian fountain pens from the 1970s and I, bo I brought with me two of them. This has a part that unscrews here and it has a similar sized sack and uh, you can see the rod, the transparent rod, it goes till this part and by squeezing it, it draws the ink. And I have a cleaner one here for you to see better. So this is the rod and this is the sack that needs to be squeezed by hand. If you are familiar with the famous Parker 51 and other Chinese clones that adopted the aerometric filling mechanism. I have here an NOS Chinese fountain pens, also from the 1970s and the 1980s. And I will uh, slightly disassemble this fountain pen to show you that it has practically the same principle as the Panda fountain pen. So, I'm sorry guys, I have to open the barrel, yes. And the barrel contains this aerometric filling mechanism, but in contrast with the Parker 51, we can disassemble this, so we can gently take the metallic rod off. And look guys, we have a larger sack but with the same system because if you watch carefully in the center of it we have the same same rod so practically if we squeeze with our fingers like this it should have the same effect as, as this metallic part here so quite quite a nice feeling mechanism and I hope it will work guys when I will do the writing sample with our panda fountain pen so enough with the comparisons I will take the other fountain pens aside and we will concentrate only on our small small fountain pen so again guys a pretty pretty compact fountain pen all made out of plastic with a simple simple steel nib 
and a simple it seems to me like an ebonite feeder i'm uh, not so sure it doesn't appear to be plastic it is uh, slightly damaged you can see some uh, little uh, parts are missing from there i hope it will work guys because this is a wonderful wonderful piece it has some drawings on the barrel i believe there are some gold asian fishes the that uh, fishes and we have technically imprinted diamond on the small small barrel you can see the panda bear stood the test of time maybe a little bit of paint has uh, rubbed off his little ears but it uh, looks quite quite nice no cracks again originally it had a bow tie right here but on this model it's missing i will leave pictures with the original bow tie on the screen for you to have an idea now guys i will leave the dimensions of it on the screen and after that we will do the writing sample and you probably saw that it had some residues of black ink so i don't want to contaminate my expensive mont blanc ink and this is why i will use a parker quick ink but it is a mixture of inks so it contains also the pelican 4001 royal blue and maybe some um, dark inks in small proportions especially the residues of ink that is left on the feeder and on the nibs when i try other fountain pens so i hope this uh, does the job i will put it right here again guys i will show you how to reach the filling mechanism so it has another screwed in part right here and now i have the fountain pen practically the fountain pen is minuscule you can see only this is the size <laughs> i think i have nibs that are uh, at least the length of this fountain pen of course it's a joke i think i have nibs like this well it should be interesting to see a really really big nib that is present on the, the, this uh, Jin Hao. Of course, it's uh, not as big as I thought. So, like this. Maybe two, three nibs. Okay, let me leave the big boy right over here. And now let's concentrate on this fountain pan. So, when you fill it up, you have to to bring this breather hole beneath the ink so i will try to do just that i'm sorry i will zoom out first of all i will give a little shake to the ink bottle and because the level of ink is quite low i will leave it like this so remember guys i need to reach the ink be careful when you do this we don't want to spill it so i will simply insert it i hope you heard the bubbles so gently squeeze and I'm not so sure you see, but we have a little, little amount of ink. Now, I have my tissue right here. I will try to gently, gently clean it. Okay. And I hope it will work because now I'm 
I will put back the barrel. Okay. I am ready for the writing sample. Before the writing sample, guys, I will change the angle of the camera for you to have a better look. Okay, guys, I've changed the angle of the camera. And now I'm ready for the writing sample. So this here, this is a diamond. Sixty one Panda. It is a small, small fountain pen. In fact, it has uh, the size of a lipstick. It was made in China. Made in China. In the 1970s and in the 1980s. It was exported to other communist countries. I remember this fountain pen was a common fountain pen in my childhood. Nowadays they are quite rare even in China and if you search for them on the internet there aren't many advertisements to sell them in nos condition or use condition in fact guys i'm proud to present you the first first ever youtube review of this diamond 61 panda fountain pen when i'm filming this video i searched for other reviews on the internet but on the youtube channel but i didn't find anyone so it's a shame because this is really really a nice nice fountain pen for children and why not for adults it is certainly a conversation piece okay so made in china in the 1970s and in the 1980s it was available in different colors and i will leave the colors on the screen and of course it lacks this little bow tie and also i will leave some uh, examples that have that bow tie on pictures in the screen okay made in china 1970s 1980s it has a steel nib it is a simple steel nib steel nib i don't think no certainly it doesn't have an iridium tip and it writes like an ff for a fine now guys let me see if we have some flex to this steel nib and no flex as you can see let me see if we have some line variations so here no pressure and here pressure no visible line variance and i'm curious to see how juicy it is it doesn't appear to be a juicy nib so yes a medium and uh, juicy uh, type of nib okay guys let me now see if i can reverse right with it let me see reverse writing so I would say yes for short periods of time because it uh, scratches a little bit. Yes, it's definitely a possibility. It can reverse right for short periods of time. Let me see if I can do a signature with this. Yes, quite nice. It has a little sweet spot and i think yes we'll see about that so definitely good at making signatures now let me tell you about the fox let me change a little bit the angle of the camera okay now let me tell you about after i zoom on it the quick brown 
fox jumps over the lazy dog so guys this particular nib has a little bit of problems you can see here that uh, sorry let me let me zoom on it for you to see better guys so you can see here that we have a little problem with the ink flow also here on the f on the b from brown and even this line on the t and the l so now guys if we watch carefully this nib we can see that it has a little problem in the sense that it is uh, the ending of it it appears to be too close to the feed and also if you look carefully the two tines are they are separated by a little gap at this this isn't a good thing guys so probably it was used for long periods of time and it developed this a little let's say misalignment i'm sure that it can be easily easily fixed so guys this was my review of a vintage chinese fountain pen made in the 1970s and in the 1980s I am proud that I brought you its first review on the YouTube channel. What can I say, guys? I bought it in this lipstick case, so I will call it the Diamond 61 Panda Lipstick Size. And I hope you've enjoyed this review of this beautiful, beautiful <laughs> small toy that can also write let me leave it like this i want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are guys thank you for your time if you have enjoyed this review of this wonderful wonderful chinese piece please subscribe to my channel i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless